of the most interesting shots, um, technically interesting shots I think I worked on was uh, this shot here. It's got, uh, it's got uh, one of the uh, crew members from the site and he's explaining uh, sections of the stadium. And the interesting thing about the shot is everything here is uh, in 3D. Um, uh, this guy here was shot in, um, in 3D. Um, what you see here in this window is in 3D. And the challenge of the shot was, when you actually see this uh, on, a, on a true 3D monitor, um, all, you'll perceive depth from all this stuff, but actually within the window here, it's not gonna appear flat you're also going to feel like you could reach into that window as well. So it's kind of like 3D within 3D. And uh, the challenge of that was to make sure that all the stereo information makes sense in the end. So this pre-composite here um, has its own separate left and right cameras, and it has its own set of uh, convergence values. And of course, this this master shot here has its own set of convergence values and all that stuff but it all has to be like married together and work and um, and that was probably the the hardest part to figure out um, and uh, it was a mixture of of winging it to make it work but but the most important part to, to making this work actually and a, and a, and a really uh, good rule of thumb is if you have some kind of window and you want to perceive depth in that in your comp, you have to always make sure never to have anything in that window come out, meaning that um, everything has to be in positive parallax within the window. You could have things here, since this is closer to the, to the audience, you could have stuff here coming into slight negative parallax, like in the shot here you'll see these, uh, these little techie grids, they actually come out into the audience just slightly. And uh, as we're moving in closer, he'll start to go on to negative parallax. But everything in the window is strictly positive parallax, and that's super important because uh, if this w if anything in this window was coming out towards the audience, um, the whole illusion would be warped. It would feel off, and you could just you could just see it like in insti instinctually, like when you're watching it, you could just see it's off. So. Um, that's probably the most important thing. If you're doing 3D within 3D and you have some kind of power windows like that, always make sure that everything within that window is going to be in, um, in positive parallax.